Hey guys, this is Patrick from SPF Entertainment, and today we're going to be reacting to the official trailer for Netflix's upcoming series, Cowboy Bebop, an adaptation of the much beloved 90s anime series of the same name. Before we start the reaction video, we have a small request. If you're a fan of ours, please like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Every sub helps us get closer to a thousand, and if you're already a subscriber, thank you. And uh, if you're not a patron, please consider being a patron, we have lots of cool exclusive videos hitting there, um, outtakes, giveaways, monthly Q&As, a monthly giveaway during the Q&A. So if you, kept, if you caught all of that, you know, please consider subscribing to our Patreon. Every dollar helps us. This little one dollar a month can get you exclusive access to much, much more. So now let's get to the reaction. So while I get this queued up, I'm a huge fan of Cowboy Bebop. I discovered it late in life. I was already in my 20s by the time I watched it for the first time and it has a, a hold on me. I watch it every year. That and, and Death Note. I have a couple of things before we actually get into the reaction about the adaptation. I was always a huge component and fan of the idea of Keanu Reeves being Spike, which for years throughout the 2000s he was attached to a project I believe at Warner Brothers uh, to be playing the role of Spike. That never transpired. Um, and now we have this Netflix adaptation. And lots of people are saying John Chow's too, too old to be playing Spike. And to me, his age doesn't really bother me. Last week, they released the Session Zero trailer, which looks fun. All these characters, all these actors portraying these roles, I feel like are hitting the marks pretty well, especially Mustafa. He's he feels to be really honed into the role. Um, his voice is very much a gravelly esque voice, much like Bo Billingsley, who portrayed Jet Black in the uh, original English dub. So that's awesome. Daniela plays plays Faye. To me, you know, from what I've seen so far, is doing a fine role. But we're about to watch the official trailer, so let's see how that is. It will be telling, but. After seeing that Session Zero video last week, I have a little bit more hope for it, which comes out November 19th, so... Let's see... Okay... You got Spike here. A week ago I did a job. A bounty. I had an apartment, believe it or not. Already, their first thing out, you know, uh, what brings back from the dead. Obviously, a reference to in the anime how Spike, you know, said he died once. His previous life, he died. His time with the syndicate, um, and you already had that that atmospheric atmosphere setting, jazz music going on. So that's cool. He know what you used to be. Will I ever see you again? They tried to kill me, Anna. If you need to find me, I go by Spike Spiegel these days. Hmm. I go by Spike Spiegel these days. That's different, which I'm, I mean, as far as we know, his name was always Spike, but evidently that's not the case here. So, interesting. And then obviously we have Tank coming in here with the thing that's... Problems with the ship, yeah. In this solar system, if the cops and the bounty hunters don't get you, the syndicate will. There's no happy ending here. Spoken like a man who's never been in love. I was. What happened? I was dreaming. What do you say, fellas? You want to team up? I was thinking a 60 40 split. <laughs> Faye negotiating terms on the. Shoot her. Please? No. Hmm, Mad Pyro. We're a team. 
than three of us. Go grab some bounties. Please, I just want to kill her a little bit. God damn it, Spike. That's <laughs> Jamie. Spike really wants to kill Faye. Whatever happens, happens. I'm glad they're using the same font. Uh, Ballad of Fallen Angels. You good guys. Or bad guys. Depends on who you ask. Swordfish. <laughs> November 19th on Netflix. Well, that looks fun. That looks really fun. Um, you know, lots of people are saying negative things about it. You know, yada yada. Was Ed? Where's Ed? And that's something else I'm going to mention before we start start the reaction. Um, you know, I feel like they're with the inclusion of Ballad of Fallen Angels. Um, you know, I feel like. As far as the story goes, obviously they have episodes like Mad Paro in there, and and um, it looks like maybe the uh, the bomber with the um, I can't think of what it is, the episode title now, but with the bomber that's continually continuously trying to bomb buildings. Um, but it looks it looks I think it looks like a blast. Um, further confirms it. I feel like John. Daniela and Mustafa are all playing these roles that are respectful of the source material but also their own spin on it, so that's awesome. It looks really good. The set pieces look fun and good and true to the anime. That mashup of noir and, and futuristic uh, settings looks fun. The music looks good. The act fight scenes look just as fun and just as vibrant as they are in the show. As far as Eddie goes, I've heard lots of people complain about, where's Ed? Where's Ed? Ayn's there, but where's Ed? Well, Ed doesn't first come in until episode, what, seven, eight, nine, something like that? I'm not all that hurt that we're not getting Ed, at least for the bulk of season one, if maybe they're at the very end, they're teasing it going in for season two, possibly. But I'm fine with them taking their time, establishing these characters, getting their roots in the soil, letting us like these characters first, and then expanding, just like the original anime did. So, Ed not being in it is not a deal breaker to me at all. I feel like they're going to lean into um, Spike's past, obviously. I I'll be curious to see if they do it like the anime, where it's sprinkled or if that's going to be the main plot through line for all the episodes, or if each one's going to be just episodic with a little bit of the background sprinkled throughout, so we'll see. But So yeah, November 19th, I will be there. We'll have a review up here, I'm sure. And then in November, we are going to be debuting a brand new series here on SPF Entertainment called SPF Game Night, where 6 or 7 o'clock on a Friday night, we'll be playing tabletop board games, card games that are related to various fandoms, movies, TV shows, you know, anything that sounds fun to us. Obviously we're big horror fans here, so tons of stuff like that. So we'll be debuting that in November. And to celebrate the release of Cowboy Bebop, to go hand in hand with the review that day, that night, about six or seven o'clock, we'll be doing a uh, SPF game night of Cowboy Bebop board games, which include board game Boogie and Space Serenade. So stay tuned for that. And again, if you are a fan of this channel, please like, share, and subscribe. Every sub helps us get closer to 1,000. And again, um, new content the next week, SPF Sauce, and much, much more. Thanks for checking out this reaction video, and let us know in the comments what you would like to see us react to next.